Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be my last haul video of 2015, even though I'm doing this in 2016. But this is the products that I finished up during the month of December. And I'm going to go through each one and do like a little mini review and let you know if it's something that I would repurchase or if it was a new type product. So anyway, let's get started because I have quite a bit. First, we'll start with these little uh, makeup remover wipes. I found these at Big Lots and they were $2.50. They're the Apple brand. And I really did like these quite a bit. Let's go. And I would definitely repurchase these if I find them. I liked them because they had um, a textured side to them, so they were a little bit rough. And I use these to clean my makeup brushes, spot clean them of the morning when I'm getting ready for for work. Uh, I don't actually use them to um, take makeup off my face, just to spot clean my makeup brushes. And so I would definitely repurchase these. I actually have some backup of those, so good stuff. Next I have some cotton balls. These are from Ulta. And these are the triple size cotton balls. I do like these, um, but I like the cotton rounds better. So I will not be repurchasing these. I'm going to wait and um, use up my back stock of these and then go back to the cotton rounds, the textured cotton rounds. Next I have some cotton clouds. And this is um, the dupe for the Shiseido um, cotton squares. And um, I will not be repurchasing these. I have a review video that I will put in the description box and I will let you know um, why I will stick with the Shiseido. And if you want to find that out, you'll have to watch that video. Next, I have a face cleanser from Soap and Glory, and this is called the Greatest, the Greatest Scrub of All. Um, it was an okay product. I didn't feel like it had enough exfoliation in it, but as far as the cleanser, it was okay. So I'm not going to be repurchasing this. This was around $10, and it had these little beads in it that when you started moving them around, they were supposed to burst and have um, <clears throat> skincare properties in them. But I didn't really even feel the beads that much to be honest with you so it's just not it was an okay item it wasn't you know bad just not I'm not going to repurchase let me get this out <sighs> whatever <laughs> next I have some toothpaste this is the Colgate sensitive with whitening um, I do have sensitive teeth and I do drink a lot of Diet Coke so I have to always use a whitening product to try and help keep my teeth not be stained, which they are, but they would be worse if I didn't use a whitening. So yes, I would repurchase. <clears throat> Next, I have a Cinnamon Secrets makeup um, brush cleaner, and this is a really good product. I like this quite off, quite a lot. I use it every morning to spot clean my brushes, and I would definitely repurchase and like this quite a bit. Then I have a deodorant. This is the Suave Clinical Strength uh, Protectant Deodorant. And yes, I would repurchase. I did like this quite a bit. Um, it's comparable to the Secret. Is it the Secret? Yeah. And it's, but it's a little bit less expensive than what the Secret or the Dove is. <coughs> Next I have a product from Ola Henriksen. This is a foaming face cleanser. This is the African Red Tea Foaming Cleanser. This was in a little um, travel pack that I got from Sephora, you know, like a sampler. It was a one and a half ounce and I really did like this. And this actually lasted a very long time. Um, it was liquid and you might be able to see the liquid part of it in there. But when you pumped it out, it pumped out as a foam. So it only took one pump and it lasted a very long time and I really did enjoy it. And I have another one of these in this size, so I'll start using here pretty soon. Oh, it was a sad day in my beauty world when this was gone. This is the Tom Ford Noir Perfume. It's a 1.7 ounce. 
loved this. I would definitely repurchase this. It's just not going to be this year, or it will be this year, but it will be next fall before I purchase it again. But oh, loved that. Got so many compliments on that. Next, I have a product from Bosha, and this is a cleansing powder. Um, this is one of the many steps in the skincare regime that the um, Asian beauties use, and um, I really did like this. I have several different brands that I've been trying. This one, I liked the smell of it, but basically, it's just a powder. You put like a teaspoon or a half teaspoon in the palm of your hand, add some water to it, and get it into a foam, and then cleanse your face with it. It's not a makeup remover. It's just strictly to cleanse the skin, and I really did enjoy that. Next, I have a product from IT Cosmetics, and this product needs to win the longest name in the history of Beauty Products Award. It is called Feel the Moment Anti-Aging Ultra Hydrating Sensory Awakening Primer Serum. Lord. Anyway, this was, you were supposed to use this as a primer. But I just felt that it was too oily to use strictly as a primer. You had to wait too long for it to dry down before you could put your makeup on. And I just, in the morning time, I just don't have time to sit and wait for something to dry. I used this at night. It was okay as a nighttime uh, serum, but I'm not going to repurchase. Next is a product that I will always have in my skincare regime, and this is the um, Vitamin C Turbo Booster Powder from Philosophy. Um, basically, it is a powder that you add into your serum or to your moisturizer. You can use this morning or night, and it is the whole concept behind it is that each time you mix it, you're, you're mixing up a fresh batch of the vitamin C because um, we all know that the vitamin C products um, have a, a tendency to lose their stability once air and light reaches them. That's why this is in a dark bottle. So the concept behind this is each time you're mixing it, you're getting a fresh batch. And I really like this. I've been using this for years and will always have this in my skin care. I'll have things listed in the description box too, so that you can, you'll know what it is if you couldn't see it. <clears throat> Next is a product that I have really enjoyed and just discovered this this year. This is the Dermaputics Hyaluronic Eye Lift Serum. I did purchase this at uh, Marshalls. You can find it at TJ Maxx, also at Home Goods. It runs around $10. Would definitely repurchase it if I could ever find it again. The last three or four times that I've gone back to Marshalls or to TJ Maxx, I haven't been able to find it. Um, I think a lot of people are snatching them up as soon as they hit the shelves. But I really did enjoy this and would definitely repurchase if I can find it. <clears throat> Let's see what else do we have in my little box. We have a Chanel Low Lift and this was an eye cream. It was okay, um, nothing, it wasn't bad, but it's just so expensive, Chanel. Um, skincare products are so expensive, so I won't be purchasing it because I like my um, Bobbi Brown moisture, eye moisturizer better, so, but it was okay. It was a good sample. Another sample was the S SK2 eye treatment. Um, again, it was a good eye treatment, but it's just so darn expensive. I'm not going to be repurchasing that or purchasing it. Um, we have a Dr. Dennis Gross uh, two-step alpha beta peel. This was in the extra strength, and I get these if Sephora offers these as samples or if they offer them as point perks. I always pick these up. Basically, it's a little pad in here. The step one, you rub all over your face, you let it dry for a couple minutes, and then you do step two. Same thing, you rub it all over your face, let it dry, you don't rinse it. It's a wonderful exfoliant. Enjoy using these. I try to do them you know, a couple times a week whenever I remember, but I like having those. <clears throat> 
see this is a skincare um, moisturizer. This is the Skin Perfector by L'Occitane. Um, it was okay. Not not going to purchase it. It was it was fine. Have a couple of um, foundation samples that I got from Sephora. This is the Nar Nars Luminous. I had it in Gobi and Siberia. Um, Siberia ended up being my color. I just did not care for this formula. I felt it was too heavy and too cakey for my 40 plus skin, so I will not be getting the full size of that. Then we have a mascara. This was from Clinique. This is the, I have a hard time reading this, this is the Lash Doubling, yes, the Lash, lash Doubling. Uh, mascara. Um, I did like it, but I'm not going to go out and purchase a full size of it because um, I like the Chanel Le Volume de Chanel better. But this was a good, good product, and if I was to get it, you know, in another gift with purchase or a little sample, I would definitely use it. Ooh, falling out. Okay, now I have some mask to you to show you. But I used up some martini mask. I have the cactus collagen. This was for hydrating. It was a good mask. I also have from martini the hyaluronic acid mask. Again, a good mask to use. The Asia Berry collagen mask. Again, a good one. And the saffron collagen mask. And then um, this one here from the uh, Forever Young, the Brightening, the Lemon Mask. And I had just hauled these, and this was really good. I like the smell of that. It smelled really good, lemony. It was good. And then I have one of the Sephora eye masks. This was in the Rose. Um, I purchased this during the Sephora VIB. Mm, not too sure about this. I mean, I know there's a lot of people that say after one use, it's just wonderful, but maybe I just had too much of uh, high expectations I don't know anyway so that is it for this month's empties that um, concludes my yearly empties and I want to kind of give you a little bit of an overview on my empties on what I did this year I basically um, at the beginning of the year I set some goals I've been keeping a journal of all the products that I have I set some goals on what I wanted to use up as far as full size products and sample size products and I will tell you that I feel like I did pretty good I also um, kept a dollar amount going as far as you know the full size I kept track you know what it cost if it was a sample I was able to figure out um, a dollar amount for the sample sizes and I will tell you that my goal in 2015 for full-size products was to use up 240 products and for samples it was 200 products and I will tell you that um, my goal items that I actually used up for 2015 was 225 so I was off by 15 I didn't there's 15 full-size products that I didn't use up that's okay and then my samples was 129 I was off by 70 something on that but that's okay because I rather use up my full size as opposed to my samples because my samples basically I didn't pay for whereas your full size you know you actually spent your money on those and you definitely want to use those um, my total total all together that includes you know my goal items and my non gold goal items for full size was 342 items and samples was 210 items and the dollar amount total for the full size and the samples was $3,700 this past year so I thought that was pretty good um, I'm going to do this again next this coming year this year but every month you know I kept track of what I used I wrote it down as far as if it was a toner or face oil uh, shower gel whatever the case may be and just kept track of it and it kind of helped me to stay on track with 
using products that I already have and making sure that I'm using them and not letting them just sit and expire. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you have enjoyed and I will talk to you probably on Monday. Um, not for sure on Monday if it's going to be a haul or if it's going to be a haul review. Just depends. Anyway, thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you soon. Bye.